Ever pondered the cosmic conundrum of how the most average-looking dudes snag the hottest chicks? Well, grab your popcorn and buckle up because we're about to decode the mystery. Spoiler alert, it's not about having a face carved by the gods, it's all about the skills, baby. By the time the credits roll on this video, you'll be armed with the Jedi-level techniques that'll have any girl hooked faster than you can say, romantic comedy montage. So, let's cannonball into the pool of dating wisdom, shall we? Number one, speak less, hear more. The golden rule of dating, speak less, hear more. It's like trying to win a game of Monopoly without hogging all the properties. Picture this, you're on a date, and instead of turning into a one-man stand-up show, you let her take the mic. Shocking, right? But here's the kicker. Listening is like a superpower that most guys overlook. It's the secret sauce to turning a regular chat into a captivating teat a teat So grab your popcorn, lean back, and get ready to dive into the art of conversation mastery. It's time to listen up, quite literally. Number two, play it cool. All right, gentlemen, buckle up for this one. Playing it cool, the age-old tactic in the dating playbook. Imagine this, you're in the middle of a riveting conversation with your crush, and suddenly, you hit the brakes on the attention train. It's like pulling a Houdini in the middle of a magic show. Weird? Maybe? Effective? You betcha. Ignoring her just a tad is like leaving a tantalizing trail of breadcrumbs. She'll be following you like Hansel and Gretel in no time. So, here's the game plan. Dial down the attention, crank up the mystery, and watch her curiosity levels skyrocket. It's dating, not rocket science, but hey, close enough, right? Number three, show you have options. All right, fellas, time to juggle those romantic options like a pro. Picture this, you've got your eye on that one dazzling dame, but guess what? She's not the only fish in the sea, right? Cue the dramatic entrance of option number two, three, and maybe even four. It's like orchestrating a romantic symphony. And you, my friend, are the conductor. Psychologists say a dash of jealousy can spice things up, so why not sprinkle it into the mix? Shift your focus, chat up other ladies, and watch the sparks fly. It's like playing a high-stakes game of emotional poker, and you, my friend, are holding all the cards. So gear up, play the field, and let the romantic games begin. Number four, end conversations on a high note. The art of leaving them wanting more. It's like being the master chef of conversation, serving up just enough to tantalize the taste buds, but leaving them hungry for the main course. You know, like a Netflix series finale that ends with a cliffhanger, maddeningly addictive. So, when you're chatting with your crush and things are heating up, don't overstay your welcome. It's like dipping your toe in the pool of intrigue and then gracefully backing away, leaving her yearning for more deep-end dives into conversation. It's a bit like magic, really, disappearing at the peak of the show, only to reappear in her thoughts, ready for an encore. So, remember, my friend, leave them wanting more, and watch as they keep coming back for another serving of your irresistible charm. Number five, the three-minute theory. Brace yourself for this nugget of wisdom. It's like discovering the secret sauce to winning at conversational roulette. Picture this. You've got a mere three minutes to work your magic and leave a lasting impression, like a speed-dating maestro, but with a twist. Psychologists swear by this theory. Familiarity breeds fondness, but how do you cram it all into a mere 180 seconds? It's simple. The power of a name. Yes, you heard that right. A person's name is like a melodic charm, so sprinkle it liberally throughout your tete a tete Three times, to be precise. It's like planting seeds of camaraderie in a conversation garden, cultivating closeness in record time. But hey, tread lightly. Overuse could turn that sweet melody into a cringe-worthy cacophony faster than you can say. Awkward. So, my friend, wield that name like a linguistic Picasso, and watch as you weave a web of trust and appeal that even the hottest girl can't resist. Number six, the power of a slight smile. Ah yes, the Mona Lisa effect of facial expressions. Subtle, yet potent. Let's dissect this crucial element of charm, shall we? Picture yourself in the midst of a conversation with the object of your affection. Now imagine wearing a smile that's as light as a feather. A smile so delicate, it's like a whisper in a crowded room. We're not talking about grinning like a Cheshire cat. 
Heavens no. That's a one-way ticket to Creepsville. What we're after is the Goldilocks of smiles. Not too big, not too small. Just right. This nuanced expression works wonders, transforming you into the epitome of approachability and charisma. While a poker face may as well be a conversation tombstone, that gentle curve of your lips breathes life into your discussions, turning mundane chats into riveting exchanges. It's a modest tweak with monumental implications, my friend. So go forth and smirk like you've got a secret, for it's the key to unlocking doors of intrigue and allure. Number seven, building familiarity. Ah, the art of familiarity. A delicate dance between flattery and genuine admiration. Picture this. You're navigating the labyrinth of social interaction, armed with compliments like a knight with a trusty sword. Compliments, my dear Watson, are the breadcrumbs that lead to hearts. When you're out and about, keep your peepers peeled for those intricate details that make her shine brighter than a disco ball at midnight. Is she flaunting a dazzling piece of jewelry? Shower her with praise. After all, women don't just accessorize, they orchestrate symphonies of style. By acknowledging these sartorial masterpieces, you morph from a mere mortal into a deity of discernment. Now, I won't sugarcoat it. Perfecting the art of the compliment requires practice. Your initial endeavors may land with the grace of a bull in a china shop, but fear not. With persistence, you'll ascend to compliment connoisseur status faster than you can say diamonds are a girl's best friend. So, dear compatriots, remember, Familiarity is the cornerstone of captivation. Master the compliment game, and watch as hearts flock to your magnetic presence like moths to a flame. Number eight, finding the right subject. Ah, the delicate art of conversation. A tightrope walk between agreement and disagreement, camaraderie and contention. Picture this, you're embarking on the maiden voyage of a first date, Perfect. armed with a treasure trove of topics like a knight with a trusty lance. The key, my friends, is to tread lightly on the minefield of discussion, steering clear of contentious terrain like a seasoned diplomat. Remember the golden rule, stick to topics that foster harmony and agreement, lest you risk the ire of your fair companion. After all, nothing dampens the flames of romance like a heated debate over politics or the merits of pineapple on pizza. And please, spare us the theatrics of self-aggrandizement. This isn't a competition to see who can boast the loudest or flex the hardest. Keep it real, keep it relatable, and you'll navigate the waters of conversation with the finesse of a seasoned mariner, leaving a lasting impression worthy of Shakespeare and praise. Number nine, appropriate gifts. Ah, the art of gift giving, a perilous journey through the labyrinth of romantic gestures. Picture this, you're navigating the treacherous waters of a budding romance armed with the age-old question of what gift will elicit the perfect response. Now, before you set sail on the seas of sentimentality, heed this sage advice. Know thy boundaries and choose thy gifts wisely. For example, when wooing a fair maiden who hath just consented to share a date with thee, consider the humble bouquet of flowers, a classic choice that straddles the line between endearing and extravagant. It's a gesture that speaks volumes evoking sentiments of romance and admiration, while steering clear of the perils of overzealous affection. Let your gifts be as thoughtful as they are appropriate. Do not go overboard. I mean, unless you're aiming to make her feel like she's in the middle of a romantic comedy. Let's dial it back a notch. No heart-shaped boxes of chocolates or surprise car keys, okay? We're aiming for magical, not pressured to match your extravagant gesture with a grand piano or a trip to the moon. Let's impress her with a dash of care and respect instead. Maybe sprinkle in some fairy dust for good measure. And hey, if she doesn't reciprocate, chin up. Confidence is your trusty sidekick, and with the social skills from this video, you'll be irresistible. So, keep that chin high, strut your stuff, and remember, there are more fish in the say, and some might even prefer your bait. Comment below with 100% if you're ready to conquer the dating world, and for more pearls of wisdom, check out our recommended video. Thanks for tuning in.